Hey guys, how good? In today's video, I'll show you the process of creating another product design. Today, we will practice our polygonal modeling skills using the cylinder as a base. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what you would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class! Let's create a line and adjust its thickness and height. Inside, we use 32. We convert it to editable poly. And with out one, we will insert some loops. With the extrude, we will create a detail at the bottom. Here, I will add one more loop to create a cut with the top loop. Using extrude, we will make the cuts. Now, selecting some ads to create a chamfer that I really like to use in my models. I think it's very interesting. We add the support loops inside. Here, I will add some loops to hold the shape. In this part of the piece, I will add two loops and create a detail. We wear some face and then insert two more loops to create a rounded shape in that part. Here I will select the entire border and extrude by holding shift. So, let's connect the dots to fill the mesh correctly. We will add the central loop and connect it with the vertices connect. For the Z, I'm going to add a loop on the inside and a chamfer on the outside. On these heads, I will add a chamfer to make them harder. Done this, let's separate the slow part with the detach. Let's work with the separate shapes. This makes it much easier to create more details in the piece. We will extrude this edge. With the cap, we close the hole and with the chamfer, we adjust the edge. The top, I will start there to create some loops completing the shape. Now, let's work on the top part of the piece. I'm going to create a hole by holding shift.
keeping the shift, we will create this effect and then use set flow to make these details round like a sphere. Let's create a chamfer on the bottom loop to hold the shape. Without two, we will correctly around the shape. We add another chamfer to the edge of the top. And two support loops on that part to hold in the shape. In the center part, we will also add two support loops. Inside the top hole, we will add two loops to create a detail inside the hole. With extrude, we create this protrusion. We will select the upper loops and increase the distance a little and also in the lower the loop the detail. To finish, we will apply a chamfer to all the Zs. With this, we finish the upper part of the model. Now, I'm going to isolate this piece to work on it. Let's create a chamfer at the base to hold the shape. In this part, we will select all the face and apply a bevel in polygon mode. Also, let's apply a connect of heads to create some support loops. We add a support loop here at the base, holding shift in scale modes. We will create some loops once we finish with collapse. Now I'm going to create some details in the center piece. Let's create a rectangle. Remove the thickness values here. I'm going to align it with the piece and adjust its position. With Edit Spline, we will change the mode to corner and create a chamfer with the fillet. Let's join the ends with weld. Here, we adjust the size a little better and can cover it to editable poly. Here, we will divide the model and just have a quarter of it to facilitate the retopology calculations. We add the retopology modifier and we will use 50 in face count. We add symmetry to return the shape to its original shape. In this part, I will use a tool that is rarely used but it's of great help for create details on curved surface, which is conform. In the Freeform tab, we will change the draw option from grid to surface. In Peak, we select the cylindrical part. Now, according, we select our detail so that it fits the cylindrical shape. We will change the color to make it easy to see. Now, we add the shell to give it thickness and add two support loops. I'm going to adjust the thickness a little more so that it fits into the cylinder. Once this is done, we will add a modifier to soften it. So, I'm going to duplicate the center piece. And just have the middle face. Let's use boolean to create this detail in this copy. We convert it to editable poly and we will delete the face in the center. Let's just keep in the hole. Once this is done, we will delete half of the piece and with head topology, we use 400 in face count. In the new topology, we will erase this face at the bottom and also at the top. I 
I will select the edge to align on the axis. Then with the snap, we will align with the center again. Let's also align the base and top vertices. Let's hide this copy. The whole parts at the top and bottom we will use the scale to close the holes and finally the collapse. I'm going to raise these faces a little bit at the top and also at the base. At the edge, we will apply a chamfer to maintain the shape. Go back to the details, we will extrude backwards and with the scale, we will create the cover of this hole. Changing to add mode, we use bridge to connect the ads. With the connect of ads, we fill the entire shape. I'm going to select all the face and align them on the X axis. Selecting this entire edge, we will apply a chamfer to keep this edge hard. And the same inside. Let's add a detail here in this hole. Select some face, give you a detach with the clone options. I'm going to create something very simple. Let's add that edge. I'm going to add symmetry and create a circle. I'm going to add thickness with the shell. And add some support loops. On the edges of the borders, I will apply a chamfer. We apply a smoothing modifier and we will adjust it so that it fits the model better. So, let's add some text now to the piece. Something that gives a very interesting effect on this type of object. I'm going to write something very simple. We convert it to editable poly and we will adjust it so that it at the base of the model. I'm going to add the shell to give it thickness. Adjust it so that it crosses in the piece because I will use boolean to create this cut of the letters. I will create a line to create a details to accompany the text. It's all very simple to do.
Let's go back to the piece that will receive the details. We apply a smoothing modifier. I'm going to clone this piece, because if something goes wrong, we have a backup. Now let's select both and apply the boolean to the subtract options. Here, I will select the face at the bottom of the details and change the color to make them more evident. To finish the piece, we will now create some numbers. I believe that numbers also make the models more charming. Here, the steps are the same. We will convert it to editable poly and with head topology, we improve the geometry of the numbers. There's two points need adjustment. Let's separate them with the detach. With Ctrl Shift R, we'll make the shape round in both. And then adjust the vertices better. Finally, we use a modifier to soften the shape. We can join everything back together with attach and position it on our part. I will align in each the parts and again use conform to adjust the curvature of the numbers with the curvature of the parts. We give it thickness and it's ready. Now, with the model almost finished, I'm going to create a detailed band at the numbers, something like an indicator. Very simple, with just a few faces. We give it thickness and it's ready. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. See you next time. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.